Hello and welcome to HHC TV News. My name is Megan Edmonds. This is the, our report for the week ending 28th of the 3rd, 14. Our stories this week are Miss Saws Leaving, Onesie Fun Run and Anti-Bullying. But first we have the book of the week. Over to you. I'm Jess, here interviewing Sophie Taylor on the book Born to Run by Michael Moore Pergo. So, Sophie, what drama do you say this book is? Well, Jess, I would say it's an animal adventure book. Hmm. So I've heard that children read these books. What age would you recommend Born to Run? Well, I, would, I would recommend this book for 10 plus because it would be hard for children to understand. Hmm. Out of 10, what would you give this book? Well, Jess, I would give it about 7 because it's hard to understand when the cha characters change throughout the book. Hmm. Right, for a final summary about the author, why do you think he likes writing animal books? Well, he likes writing children books, so we can see how the children adapt to these kind of books. If you want more on Michael Moore Pergo, then come down here to the library for more, where you could learn about the word of the week, which is methodical, which means according to systematic or established procedure. So thank you, and see you next week. Bye. Thank you, Jess. And next... Highfield, a few weeks ago, Highfield took part in an anti-bullying conference in Blackpool to discuss how to tackle bullying. But what is bullying? Bullying is a behaviour that causes harm, actual physical or emotional, to another person. This has to happen over a period of time. Bullying is not two friends having an argument or a one-off one -off row. There are three types of bullying. Cyber, which is bullying that happens on the social networking sites or text message. Physical, which is hitting, punching or tripping pupils up or stealing money or belongings. Verbal, which is spreading rumours, speaking behind people's backs and name calling. Bullying can make the lives of the victims awful. It destroys self-confidence and sense of security. It makes them feel sad, lonely and can cause anxiety and can lead to devastating results like self-harm, depression, suicidal thoughts or even suicide. More than half of young people will have been bullied in some type of way during school and 16,493 young people are frequently absent because of bullying. This month, three cases of bullying was reported and earlier this year, someone got excluded because of bullying. So what should we do about it? There are two boxes around school which you can post to worry about bullying, either about yourself or another person. You can always go and see a member of staff or your pastoral manager. Don't let it continue. Do something about it. And now we have a report from Connor. Hello, my name is Connor Hutchinson and I'm here today re to report the story of Miss Swords leaving. So, Miss Swords, will you miss the school? Of course I'll miss the school. If I could move this school to wherever I'm venturing to, I would. We should clone it. Let's figure it out. <laughs> Let's definitely. <laughs> um, do you have any idea what country you're moving to? Yes, I'm going to be moving to Canada. Uh, do you have a particular town or city? Yes, my um, friends who I went to university with, they are moving back to their hometown, Vancouver, so around that vicinity. Will you miss your tutor group? Yes, of course I will miss my tutor group. Not every morning, sometimes they have their bad mornings. Is there a particular year you'll miss? No, no, we don't have favourite classes or favourite students in this school, Connor. We love them all. And finally, any last words? Um, thank you, really, for being fantastic to me and for allowing me to put on such amazing shows that hopefully will stay with people forever. Thank you. I'll miss you. Thank you, Miss Swords, and good luck in all your future endeavours. Thank you, Connor. Thanks for that, Connor. Very sad news indeed. But last today, to end on a fun note, on Tuesday the 1st of April, 7M2 is hosting a onesie fun run. It will be held during lunchtime in the sports hall. To participate, all you need is a minimum of a pound and your onesie. All funds raised will go to the school charity Dogs for the Disabled. Cakes will also be on sale for 50p, so come along and raise some money for charity. But it's not a non-school uniform day. That's all for today. Thank you for watching HHC TV News. If you have any stories that you'd like us to report on, please see a member of our team. 
Their names are listed on the credits following. Goodbye.